Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 65, Part 2 in Picking an Object. Let's jump right into the code. Uh, this time, what we're going to be doing is sending a uniform boolean for whether or not the mouse has been clicked. Uh, and if it's been clicked, we're going to draw out uh, the color red, and we're going to hard code this for now. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be taking in the color and setting that uh, from the attribute. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Um, so main things to know is we have a new piece of state down uh, ui.mouseclicked, and it's represented by 1 or 0 for the boolean. And uh, when its mouse is up, it is now 0. And, and we'll scroll to the very top here. See here's the mouse clicked under the state.ui. Um, all of this is the same except for no, we're no longer drawing out a red cube, we're drawing out a yellow cube. And scrolling down, we'll take a look at that in a second. I'll show you what the importance of that is. And our draw function is uh, basically normal as per usual. Uh, the main difference is we've added this uniform 1i for the 0 or 1 and we've grabbed that uniform above. So this is what our program looks like. And you can see when I hold the mouse down, I am now drawing a red cube. Um, and if I click it, you can see I select the red cube. And you can see that count over here. So it's kind of an interesting uh, trick that you can do, which is picking based on color. And we saw this in the last episode and even previous episodes beyond that, reading the pixels. And this is going to be really important because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be drawing an object given an absolute uh, value between 0, 255 for R, G, and B, and keeping track of those. And then what you're going to ultimately do, be doing is not redrawing uh, with that red color. Um, so if I go ahead and clear out this, and then we go ahead and do it up here so we're not doing it on every single draw, we're only doing it once before the entire application is going, um, then you can now see that it doesn't change on click, but when I click it, it's now being uh, selected. Um, and that's great for this particular example, and we're going to keep on going with this and look at other ways that we can make this even more flexible, uh, and eventually with multiple objects as well. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe like this video, it'll help me out a lot, share on social media, and go ahead to programmingtlil.com and sign up for my newsletter, and go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. Thanks, have a great one.